Today on Pit Bike Mods, we're going to install a DM rear shock on the 2019 KLX 110L. The tools you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, 14mm spanners, 14mm socket, 8mm T handle, and a flathead screwdriver. First, take off the seat and side number plates with an 8mm T-handle or socket. Now, take off the front shrouds with a Phillips head screwdriver and an 8mm socket or T-handle. Loosen the top shock bolt and nut with a 14mm socket or spanner. Do the same thing to the bottom shock bolt as well. With both bolts out of the shock, now you can take out the shock out of the bike. The stock shock and the DM shock are similar in, similar in length. The stock shock is eye to eye, is 288 mil, and the DM shock is 290mm eye to eye. This, the DNM promoted this as a shock for the CRF 110s, but they also worked with the KLX 110s. The build quality is pretty similar. The DNM shock has adjustable collar, so you can adjust the preload, and a um, fast and slow rebound, rebound adjustment. The stock shock has no adjustment at all. Before you put the bolt in the shock, put a light coat of grease on the bolt and slide it through the swing arm and shock. Do the same thing to the upper bolt. The lower shock bolt is torqued down to 29 foot pounds. Upper fork bolt and nut is torqued down to 29 foot pounds. The shock is all installed. Now you can put all the plastics on and see, and you're all done.
the DNM shock is all installed. Bike sits good. Sits like um, the factory shock. Check them out. See how you go. I got the 290 mil spring. DNM uh, advertise a 275 mil spring for the KLX 110L, but it is shorter than the stock shock. So keep that in mind. Um, it's a great shock. Feels pretty good. There's a, some adjustability over the stock shock. You shouldn't be disappointed. See you next time.